Here you have a Yanokoji. On this video, I will reproduce his haircut and his style. Roll the tape. To prepare the hair, I will create an oval section to separate the perimeter from the interior part of it. This is a fundamental part for the deconstruction technique that I use. I will start the haircut by cutting the bangs, and as you can see on the storyboard, I can see the length, the texture, and the direction. Comb the front of the bangs on a natural fold, and cut it at this length, creating texture with the razor. If you like to do this style, at the end of the video, I'll make some commentary about what face ties will work well with. Using the same technique, cut a horizontal line on the sides, just to cover the ears. To create this way line and direction on the layers, continue from one side to the other using the razor on a horizontal line. As you can see here, the razor creates this flip on the ends. Position your body in front of the section that you're going to be cutting. Continue around on the head so you can connect the two sides, getting this horizontal line with the flip of the hair. Follow me on Instagram to see what I'm going to be doing next and to see some videos on the behind the scenes. Visit TikTok to see a short video and Instagram to see the final pictures on this style. This weight line will divide the graduation on the perimeter with the incremental layers on the top of the head. Using the traditional razor cutting technique, carve the graduation. For this area, cut it with the razor behind your fingers. This will help you to have control and the tension that you need to cut this area. At the end of this video, I will announce the suggestion that I made it to my list of videos that I will be doing on the future. If you prefer to cut the hair with the scissors, use the point cutting technique on the same angles. The razor is ideal to create the direction and the lighter finish on the ends. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends. It makes the biggest difference. Thank you to all of you for your support. Let's see if you can get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I'm counting on you. Don't miss next week the cut and style of Steve from the Netflix show Stranger Things. To cut the incremental layers on the interior, comb the hair in natural fall. Determine the length that you want to cut the short layers at the top and with the razor, cut on the surface to create the layers but maintaining the density of the hair. This is the length I'm looking for on these layers. Observe how this cut produces texture and ideal direction on this haircut. Take your time and check out how the hair is reacting. Here on the storyboard, you can see what is helping me to determine the design line and the activation on the layers. Remember, you don't need to cut all the hair, just a little bit on the surface. Well, how much depends on the density of the hair. The more hair or the thicker the hair it is, the more you can remove. The more fine and less hair, the less you want.
Use this technique with the tip of the razor to add direction on the sides. It is very important that this area is light by maintaining the length. That is why this technique is ideal to recreate this area. Continue using diagonal back partitions and then repeat the same process on the opposite side. To recreate his style, I need texture and control. Paste and clay from 1821 will help me to prepare the hair for the blow dry process. Make sure it gets well distributed from the roots to the ends. Without the produce, this style won't look the same as you guys can imagine. This time I will use the comb to dry the hair. This way you can all see how the comb will help you out to create stronger shapes versus the brush. After combing the hair straight back on the banks area, create a middle part and holding the hair with a finger and using the air from the dryer, create a wave on the banks. Comb the rest of the sides down without adding any volume on the roots. Start giving it the shape and the flip on the ends with the comb. As you can see here, this technique is very effective. If you have texture on your hair, the round brush will work best. Now that the hair is dry, texture the areas that you feel is needed. In this area, I will do the sides. Move on the direction of the style until achieving the desired finish. On this profile, you can see the demarcation line created by the weight line. It separates the graduation on the perimeter from the incremental layers on the interior. This effect is difficult to achieve with the traditional cutting techniques, but with the freeform with the razor, no doubt it works. Continue detailing the style, personalize it. Wax from 1821 will help me to create the texture and definition on the ends. Here you have the 360 view of this style. Now let me see if you can reproduce the style on the picture with the 1821 hairspray. My favorite part of the video. This style is ideal for diamond and heart shaped faces, but it will work well with any face types. This week the winning suggestion was the Katawa Twins. The next season of Tokyo Revengers is starting soon. This is Angel Del 